Well, hey, everybody. It's time for Mr. Knott's Art Studio this morning. Um, we are going to, it is Paper Airplane Monday, but I'm going to put a little twist on it. We're not going to be using paper today. We're going to do something that's really cool. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Kind of has some science in it. You can start doing some research on it, but you need some materials for today. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the materials that we're going to need for today. All right. So you need a pair of scissors, two empty water bottles, at least mostly empty, some tape, and at least two rubber bands, okay? I'm going to give you a chance to kind of get that stuff together. I'm trying to see how much y'all can see and what, yeah, that should be pretty good, right? Right there, okay. So go ahead, grab some of that stuff or you can just watch. This isn't real hard to make, but it's a lot of fun. It's really cool to watch it fly um, and have some fun with it. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, cut this water bottle. Um, I'm going to be using the two bottom parts of it. I want to cut a little more than half of it uh, off. There's a line right here on mine. Um, so I'm going to... Uh, you gotta stab it first. Oh, don't stab yourself, okay? So I'm going a little bit past halfway. There's not any exact measurement on this. In fact, every water bottle is probably gonna have a different uh, different part that works uh, with different efficiency. So you guys play with this experiment. You can do the, also do this with uh, solo cups. It works really good with solo cups. I just chose water bottles because I figured more people are gonna have water bottles uh, available. Instead, I think this one's bulletproof. There we go. Okay, I'll go ahead and cut around that. Straighten it back out. That shouldn't affect it too much. I just finished that water bottle off. All right. So for our next step, this one's a little, this one's really cool. It's like it flies like magic. It's pretty cool. So I'm gonna take my tape here. I'm going to tear off about three pieces. This is just to help hold my water bottles together. I'm going to put the two bottom ends together. Not the open ends. The bottom ends together. I'm outside on my front porch because it's so beautiful outside. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some tape just to kind of hold these in place for our next step. All right. I'm going to kind of slow down a little bit, let y'all kind of catch up with me. All right, so you see what I have? Okay. These could be actually be used for later. You can do the same thing that we're doing with this. But from my experience, it doesn't fly as well. But you can save them for later and play with it yourself. Test it yourself to see how things come out. Don't want to lose my rubber bands. Okay, there we go. All right, so from here, what we're going to do, if you fall behind, it's okay. You can, uh, I'll save this to the news feed, and you can watch. I don't want to take up too much time just stalling. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put tape around this. I'm going to go around it a few times um, because we need some, we need some strength in this area for what we're going to do. Should be enough. All right. So how are we doing? We doing good? Give me some thumbs ups. We got a few people watching today. And there's a lot of people watch afterwards. Watch later today. You can watch it tonight. Have fun with it. This one uh, is fun to do outside. Uh, or it works inside too. 
So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I got these two rubber bands. The big fat rubber bands probably work the best. I'm going to take my two rubber bands like this, cut them, and I'm going to tie them together. One end to the other. Oops. Okay. Y'all, please share the videos. Pass them along to anybody. This is good. We're all kind of trapped inside right now or not getting to go anywhere. And it's a great chance to kind of have fun and experiment. Get away from the phones um, to uh, and play games. You can create games with this. You can make different ways. You can make different versions of any of the things I teach you how to do. Create your own version of it. Go ahead and experiment with it. Have fun with it. Um, and you might even find a better way than what I taught you. Okay? Teach you the basics. Um, I took martial arts for a long time, and I can take what my instructor teaches me, but if I do exactly what he does every single time or exactly what he taught me, well, it, it, um, I'm not going to win very many fights. I have to take it and put it in my own stuff with it also um, to make it different from everybody else's. And that's, that's what makes it really cool. You take something basic and you can change it. Take someone else's idea and make it your own idea. Now, here's how I'm going to show you all how to launch these. These are really cool. This is it. This is going to fly, believe it or not. Okay. Sometimes it takes a little practice, just like anything else. So I'm going to come out here. I'm going to try to get out here far enough to where you can see what's going on. All right. So, well, let me show you how to do this part. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this rubber band around this. Okay. Once I get it all the way around, kind of lay it over top of itself and it kind of holds itself in place and I'm stretching the rubber band as I go around okay stretching it as I go around I keep going and I want to leave it to where I can get at least a foot stretch on it okay you want to leave a little stretching so it throws it out there a little bit um, from my experience so and also you want to have where the rubber band is coming off of the bottom of it not the top like this coming off of the bottom and what you're going to do is you're going to go out here. I found out in my own experience, the best way to do it is shoot, shoot upwards. Make sure it doesn't hit your hand when it comes off. Woo! So let me try shooting one towards you. It's really cool because it looks like it's just floating in the air. This around again really good. Okay. About a foot stretch on it. Oh, that was a failure. Failure. It's okay. I know what I did wrong. I didn't let it go evenly on both sides. It kind of slipped out of my fingers. Let's try it again. Failure's okay. Take it, learn from it. Here we go. All right, I hope y'all can see that. I hope that was in the screen. I'm gonna tilt it down just a little bit. Yeah, I'm getting lots of thumbs up. That's good, that's good. We'll try it one more time and then I'm gonna let you go and I want you to go experiment. Send me some videos, post it. Show me what you've done. Maybe, you, maybe yours flies better than mine. And I can, you'll be teaching me something. <laughs> Let's try that again. That one, that time it hit my hand. It looks really cool when you get it to work right. Of course, I'm doing this live, so. Give it some more space here. All right, thanks for watching. Remember, share the video. Go have some fun with it. I'll catch y'all later. Bye-bye. May God bless all your adventures.